Hello and welcome to another installment of Doki Doki Literature Club with Tim and Jennifer. Jennifer, how are you today? I'm okay. I'm, I'm feeling a little under the weather. But yeah. I, I, yeah, but I'm excited to uh, enter Doki Doki Depression Club right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, uh, Sir Newt is reminding us in Twitch that we ended with Big Yuri. Remember how Big Yuri was? <laughs> yeah, Big Yuri! Um... And uh, Mint Shroom 96 wants to remind us that there's going to be a handful of content warnings for this. Uh, we haven't played the game, so... Yes, yeah, so this is... Oh, yeah, fuck! Uh, uh, Gug 16, the first, reminds us about finger sucking that happened? Oh, yeah, I that's forgot so about that. Oh, yeah, there's some weird blood stuff going <laughs> on. Man, I, I'm pretty excited <laughs> to get into whatever is Whatever's about to happen. happening yeah. here. Um, so... Thank you again for joining us at Twitch or in the future or whatever. We're just going to get into it. Yeah, let's do it. And hopefully remember everything. It wasn't that long. It was two weeks ago. <laughs> it feels like a thousand years ago, yeah. but I, I, I will be all right. I mean, we got cut up pretty quickly last we time did. we played. Yeah, it was like two true. years or a year. It was like a long a year time. And a half, yeah. Two years, like 17 months. <laughs> Some amount of time passed. All right, say that line. Okay. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, that's, that's yeah, that's, that's that's it. That's okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. Oh fuck! I fucking understand that shit. So I had to come here and see it for myself. S see what? What are you talking about? You know how much fun you're having with Yuri. Oh no! And how close you got to her. It makes me. <gasps> She's crying. Really happy. She's crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That you made such good friends. Uh, that's all that matters to me. Oh, tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me? All right, girl, you keep sure. saying that. We believe you. I'm just glad you have friends. I'm just glad you have friends. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> uh, thank you for the gifted subs. Oh, yeah, thanks. Chin Smasher, thank you so much. That's all that matters to me, they say. Oh, I should retweet this from another account. Excuse me. <laughs> Pause the stream. Second. We gotta, we gotta tweet over here. Talk, talks amongst yourselves. Everyone, just calm down for a second. Jennifer, talk at him. Say something zany. I'm drinking a beer right now. Nice. We played Fiasco last night. Nice. And I only had two drinks, but I f did feel bad this morning when I woke up. Um, I think we just got so rowdy during the game that it made me feel like I was more drunk than I was. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. I just stay up too late playing video games. I mean, that's a classic Tim move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went to bed and then slept later than you did this morning because mm -hmm. I was sweepy. Yeah, I mean... You... Oh, but I have not turned the laptop on again since last... I spilled, I spilled a drink on my laptop last night before... And you and it fell, too. It wasn't just... And the laptop fell. Well, yeah, so we were setting up for the stream, and I had my laptop here, and then I had my Moscow Mule, and I got up and accidentally kicked the cord, and it pulled the whole thing down on top of me onto the ground. So, I wasn't even, like, I'd had, like, a sip of drink by that point. Wow. So, it was not because I was boozing. Wow. But I, I'm, I, I, I fear opening the laptop and turning it on. Well. Wow. Yeah, Nika also sp <laughs> spilled White Claw on her laptop. It was, uh, quite a night. Dude, you're taking such a sweet time. I, right now. Why would I ever rush this? You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm just gonna stare at you. Please do. What are you doing? Uh, this is not entertaining for the stream. They like it. No, they don't. They like this part the best. No. <laughs> me yelling at you? No, they don't like that. They like me tweeting. All right, I tweeted. Oh, my God. They, they said that was the favorite. Mamacita, thank you. I'm I'm learning to make my bangs stay straight, and I'm trimming it a little bit. I need to get, like, actual hair scissors and that are not, like, giant scissors that I'm trimming my hair with. Why am I feeling this way, Gritty? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Because uh, you love me. Uh, Everything hurts so uh, much. Damn, same. This would be so much better no. if I could just disappear. No. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Gritty. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? 
Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. Gritty, you're a Gritty. real one! Gritty, you're a real one. But, but... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Gritty. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Oh, oh no! Here we are. Oh, beans! Sayori? It's true, isn't it? Oh, no. I was <gasps> weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Gritty. I like you so much that I want to die! Oh, oh no! That's how I feel! And, and... That's enough, Sayori. Oh, boy. I don't want you to hurt anymore. So I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> End it all now. <laughs> I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Huh. Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. Okay, Gritty. All right, Gritty. <laughs> is... All right, Gritty. And that's what I'm going to give to you. I am very scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Ah! Oh no! Oh! I, I mean, we're going for the yeah. Uh, we have Yuri to say hello to my dearest friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Oh boy. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. But, please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. Oh boy. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. I... I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels uh! like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori... It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. Uh, so please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down this path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right that I just want it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Gritty. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. <laughs> I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Okay, wowie. Sayori! Uh, I'm left helplessly standing in the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? Because, because you just freaking broke her heart! Gritty! Oh man, it's, it's, it do be that way. There's nothing more that I could have done. You just have to do a classic Zack from the hit show. Say by the Stay bell. by the bell. And they, both of them. <laughs> you gotta! Classic. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sari will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Surely nothing bad will happen here. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori... Oh, no. 
But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I'm Jennifer, stressed you out. you gotta pep up. We I'm gotta, stressed we out. We gotta be zany. No! You know? <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, I gotta get my... Oh, God, no. Oh. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough! <laughs> this is... Very... Is it... Someone's gonna be like, I freaking hate myself, and I know there's nothing you can do. Me and Jennifer turn to each other. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put this away. Just please do. <laughs> please do. I'm scared. What if it's not that bad? Well, again, what if it's, what if, every, this is like a joke. Like, at the end of the game, you get to the end of the game, it's like, tell everybody it's real fucked up. And then everyone's like, okay, okay, we're okay, gonna okay, do okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. <laughs> the banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text, reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over, so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri mm. at the festival. Very true. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great, too. That's oh. you. <laughs> Gritty! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. There's no sound in the game right now, Rexilis. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared to have all the poems were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. What? You just freaking passed off someone's poem? So that's the one I'll be performing. Wow. I guess the whole thing is they don't... We can't perform one of your own poems because they don't exist because it's just the random words we picked, I guess. I guess. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. I'm very stressed talking shit about her right now. Yeah, and there's no sound. Like, that's yeah, kind it's of actually kind of a... making me I more stressed out. I didn't like something, right? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. Gritty! Are you fucking kidding me Gritty! right now? Gritty! I'm gonna freaking fight you. God, Gritty. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. Gritty, you're my fucking enemy. I'm gonna thrash you. <laughs> And I suddenly feel awful. He's really? like a 16-year-old boy or 15-year-old boy. I, like? I remain with, I'm going to thrash Gritty. <laughs> <laughs> and I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Where are parents in Japan, please? No, they, none, none parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should take a little responsibility for her, Gritty. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. Wow. What is that? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do! Uh <laughs> I'm the club president, after all. But... I stammer, embarrassed. What's happening? Give me noise. I'm scared. <laughs> Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? How about how I basically turned down her confession, yet you're getting ratted out? That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. Just like Billie Eilish. <laughs> but I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Why would you think that, Gritty? You fool. You fool. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. What's happening? Eh? <laughs> Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. It's always the nice ones that are scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grab one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Okay, this is, I kind of just want to click somewhere to hear sound. Just for a second, make sure. Click somewhere. Okay, yep, my audio there. Got it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> what if I hit save? Oh, okay, there's sound there. Okay. So okay. it's just the game. Fuck me. <laughs> Stressed. Okay, Stressed. We're chill. It's fine. I flip through the pages. 
Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped a Sayori's poem. Uh-oh. It's different from the one she practiced. Uh-oh. It's one that I haven't read before. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Oh, don't go down, there's more. Ah! Whoa. Whoa, wait, 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 okay. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. Uh, but a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Okay. Whew. All right. All right. Uh. uh. What is this? <laughs> Boiling. <laughs> <laughs> Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Granny! What's wrong? Oh my god. Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori has written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so... Ah, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. I feel like Monica's going to fucking poison us. I don't like Monica. <laughs> I'm afraid. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. Yeah. She's going to be dead, right? I'm pretty stressed about it. Yeah. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer, since she's not picking up her phone, either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. No locks. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Sayori? <laughs> she really is a heavy sleeper. This is, I'm so stressed out. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? Diane, in any case, on, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Hi. Sayori? <sighs> Wake up, dummy! Uh. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door up. Oh, 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 oh my god! The music! <gasps> what the fuck is happening? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Holy what the fuck? shit! What the fuck? So, okay, so it was like replay something script broken. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It, it has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayuri wouldn't do this. I don't like... Yes. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Oh God. Just yesterday, I told Sarah I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession. That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. <laughs> Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Well, you don't want to lie. I almost feel like I if we'd picked the other option, it would have still happened. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that. I don't know. We haven't picked that many options. So that... Yeah, we've really not. So I, don't, so I don't know. This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. 
What? Sorry. Sorry, I stressed okay. out. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't... If I just spent more time with her... I kind of don't remember this. Yeah, so you just... Okay. Walked her to school and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. <laughs> Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. <laughs> okay. Well? <laughs> I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Oh, it's not your Yikes! fault! You can't. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. Wow, we are really, we are wallowing in this. Never. 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 Ah! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and no. No. I mean. End it? I don't know. What, it... what the fuck? <gasps> okay. Ah! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Let's just click this button. <laughs> Is this supposed to be like this? What is happening? I don't read this one. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is my neighbor and good for what? You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to watch to school together on days like this, but started... Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's from the this. beginning. I read all this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, my God, what is the name? I do gun jump Stop it. I'm so scared. What the... F Stop. Oh, my God. Okay, wait. Wait. Wait, he just said that he walked to school alone. And he was talking about oh, what he was she's like say. being removed or something. <laughs> but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly con content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh my god. I kind of want to <laughs> turn the sound up for us. It's a little quiet for us. Let us know if it's, if it's too, loud. too loud on your end because we can't hear it as well. Okay. There's always an anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. So true. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and is over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. So that definitely happened before. Oh, that. That's just the Okay. Thing. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. What the fuck? Gritty. I don't know. Gritty. We know. <laughs> who, who knows? <laughs> ah! Oh my god! <coughs> Monica? Oh my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? I'm scared of Monica. I don't like Monica. <laughs> uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. Omnipotent. Could get inside your head. As is a god <laughs> and a devil. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Friends Literature Club. 
Actually, I'm starting a new one. A ah! <laughs> I didn't like it. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. I mean, why is it called literature club and not poem club? That's a great question, Tim. How many members do you have so far? Two. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. There's only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's not, it's really not boring at all, you know. <laughs> Literature could be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in Wait, the club room. Wait, who got a manga collection? I don't know. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. It I is. guess it's technically true. It's book. Book is a thing. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Gritty! By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there a chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please. <laughs> um... Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? That'd be like Jennifer Cheek coming up to you and asking. And be like, something. come to my literature club, it's not haunted. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I guess I could check it out. Awesome! You're really sweet, Gritty, you know that. It's nothing, really. I'm glad we killed off the uh, normal character voice so I can really. <laughs> So you're going to be fully uh, uh, insane from here on. Bonkers town. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Important. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her Bro. irresistible smile. Don't say that. Oh boy. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm so scared. It's... Okay. <gasps> I'm back! <laughs> and I brought out a guest with me. <gasps> Girl one. Eh? That's not what she sounds like! Know. It was, uh, it was guess. like low. It was like low like this. A guest? Yes, that's it. Seriously? <laughs> you brought a boy? <laughs> Way to kill the atmosphere. Did she have ribbons in her hair like that before? Like on the side? Yeah. Mm, okay. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Gritty. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! Exactly oh, yeah. three cute girls. <laughs> so, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. And I think she said I was... Uh... Sayori's. Sayori, I yeah. forgot her name. You know, wow! Like, she was wiped from gone. the brain! I'm role-playing. <laughs> no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I didn't recognize, or one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Was she the vice president before? I don't remember. It's it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Gritty in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. <laughs> Did I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Gritty? <laughs> don't like the way you say my name, <laughs> which is Gritty. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. 
So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone! I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? You start talking so slow, stressing me out. Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. Oh boy. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting the pot teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? She's right. Uh, I guess. That would make me fall asleep. Uh, yelling, yelling m mime says don't look in the closet. And I've been looking in the closet and I want them to close the door. I, I, I thought I that the first I want there to place. be a little devil face <laughs> poking out of a little, it. A little butt sticking out. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Insulted. Yuri looks away. Oh, she's pissed. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Thank you, weasel man. That's so nice to say. Yeah, thanks. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Gritty, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Mm. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. A anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with a finger. <laughs> She's get outing me. Ah! My, I probably said that joke last time, too. Uh, <laughs> my favorites are usually novels that, bi that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story. Da -da 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 -da, this is, I think a lot yeah, of this is the same. Yeah, she's passionate about reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her li eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories of deep sound da 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 It's such an amazing how a writer be done if I actually don't like to measure my food. Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror recently. Interesting! Ah, huh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. It's true. Oh, I expect that from you, Yuri. That's such your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. I hate horror. <laughs> oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? <laughs> what gave you that idea? <laughs> you left a piece of scrap paper behind the club last meeting. You looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Fluffy kitty! <laughs> and give me that back! <laughs> fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, I, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them with 
Well, uh, why don't you share them sometime? No! <laughs> Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing you the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have what's writing spirit too? <laughs> Maybe if you share some. Da -da -da -da. I want to get some more spooky stuff. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? <laughs> Nat and Yuri. <laughs> uh, Nusky and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem for our, of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start by finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I decided to take on the responsibility of vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Gritty? Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, -huh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Where's Sayori? No, I think, I never said I would join this club. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. <clears throat> All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, oh, that's you. Damn. <laughs> but, but, yeah, all the previous uh, uh, sessions should be live on YouTube now, yes. I think. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought. <clears throat> eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Gritty. The thing is. We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. Oh. And I've been trying really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... Uh, I'm defenseless against these girls! Please clip that! <laughs> and, oh, shit. You know how to do it? Ah, uh, oh, I, I can do it. I can do it. You're gonna do it. I can do it's it. It's important to me. Okay, Okay. Shit! Fuck! Fuck! Didn't work. That's alright. Oh, what? It was That's so weird. The... Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... <laughs> Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. <gasps> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Gritty? Yeah. It can be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super <laughs> pissed. Gritty, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Oh. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember, tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring in the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Gritty, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Gritty writes a poem that's just pee pee poo poo. Pee 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 poo. <laughs> hot dog water, hot dog water, Zambo. <laughs> I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. 
Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> What's that? Is that a thing? Is that uh -huh. a thing? The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Doki, Doki! Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Only these three. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, yes. uh, yes. Oh, God. A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before a disaster could happen, a third party <gasps> intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. What the fuck? <laughs> that is a joke. I haven't seen the Joker, so This is the Joker. This is the Joker, Joker wrote this. The Joker wrote this. Um I assume that Monica Okay, so Monica's still not here. Yeah. You can't you don't write it for it. Alright, what are we doing? We still going full Yuri? Yeah, I don't know, I want to. Okay, so I feel like uh a tone. She loves it. I wonder what happens if you pick something that neither of these two would like, but Sayori would like. I don't know. Depression. She loves depression! Yeah, like emotions and shit. <laughs> Dark! Dark. <laughs> yeah! Adventure! No! Okay. Uh. Well, maybe adventure. Oh, no. Grief! Grief. <laughs> oh, also graveyard. Uh, or graveyard! <laughs> yes. yes! Alone? A fantasy or, or puppy? Tears? tears? Yes. Uh. Hopeless! Um, um, uncanny. Uncanny? Uncanny. Cage! Cage! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sometimes they move a little bit. I guess it's like, oh, I didn't like that. I don't really know. Yeah. Um, or maybe it's random. Oh. Melancholy. Uh, mm, despise. Yes. Uh, ooh, scars. Yes. <laughs> I feel so satisfied every time I do yeah. it. Um... Mm, I was say nightgown. Okay, okay, okay. No! <laughs> oh. A fulgant. Uh, massacre. <laughs> <laughs> You're you fucking goth bitch. Sadness or death? Um, death. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tragedy or horror? She likes uh, horror. Too. Horror. Oh, Doki Doki's in there. Fester. Fester. <laughs> uh, 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 Crimson! Where's that? Oh. Mm, Inferno? Disaster! Disaster? <laughs> Boom! What a weird poem. <laughs> I love wrote. it! Ouch. Hi again, Gritty! Glad to see you didn't run away at us, ha ha ha! Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature, back at it again in the Doki Doki Literature <laughs> Club. <laughs> I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. <sighs> I didn't like that. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Gritty. Because I was like looking down here, it was flashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Please stop. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Hey! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh, oh, come on. Like he deserves she any slack. She came up from the bottom like a monster. <laughs> you already had to be dragged. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Ah, she's in front of What? Monica! Monica, I can't Give read. me guys a thing. Okay, and Big Mouth is someone who keeps a manga collection? No, the Big Mouth who keeps a manga collection in the big room. 
Bro! Monica, get out of the Move. freaking way! <laughs> get out of the way. <laughs> I spray you. Laser does this when we watch the... Uh, the Untamed. The Untamed. Where there's subtitles, and he'll be like, I'm gonna stand in front <laughs> of the subtitles. Okay. Hmm... <laughs> okay! It's all tilted! Is it tilted? It looks tilted! Is it tilted? It is definitely tilted! Ah! What is happening? Uh, uh, Nasuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Why is the room tilted right Stop now? Stop being tilted! Swiftly defeated, Nasuki plops back into her seat. She's gonna fall! I'm sorry, Gritty. <laughs> we'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? You research Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, I kind of want history would say when Monica was... Uh, right! Uh, what okay, it? so it's still there. All right, all right. Mm. Save it. Wait. Oh, because it's... Here? Huh? Huh? I don't think it saved our other thing. Maybe? Oh, did it, like, start it again? Yeah, I guess. Oh, I'm glad it's all that. Um, now that oh. you're in the club and all... Perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. Why is it giving me a headache slightly? I think I'm just so you. Is it also like slightly zoomed in or I am I just crazy right I, now? No, I think that's what it, it's doing. In order to tilt it, it has to zoom in slightly. So oh, I think it's okay. going to pop up her head and everything. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know... Make out on top of it. <laughs> discuss it if you wanted. Uh, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Okay, is it getting more tilted? I don't know. Maybe? I can't tell. Okay, so right now... Alright, so the, this desk is lined up with this part of the chat on the other screen, okay. so I'm just gonna keep an eye on that. Okay. I look forward to hearing what you think. Oh, it's oh! Woo! <laughs> Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. Uh, chat is confirming that it was okay, moving okay. and zooming in more. <laughs> it's so <was> stressful! Like, <laughs> but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I, I was like, it's just zooming in on her tatas or something. I'm so like, confused. I mean, yeah. I'm scared. I can't help but notice her intense expression. Like, she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. The manga take, closet. She's gonna take a head out or something. Oh, oh, our cord. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. Oh. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Uh. Crap. Oh, it's quiet. Oh, phew. I think she noticed me looking at her. I mean... She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. Um... That only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I was focused, and then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so that's the book that you gave me, right? Is what you would have said. Is what you said. Yeah, oops. That's the book that you gave me, right? Hmm. I wanted to reread some of it, not for any particular reason. Mm hmm. 
Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh... Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... <laughs> the other day? <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant. I mean... It just happened to buy two of them. Okay, Yuri, that's not All right. real. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. She bought the book for you! <laughs> Ding dong! I'll definitely start reading it soon. Start reading it now. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's very engaging in a relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about, anyway? Well... Hmm... I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. That's fun. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Oh boy. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Is this the same book from the first time? Or is it I darker? I don't remember that from before. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs uh... and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Holy fuck. Okay, so the book the book is just getting darker. I guess we're just getting more in darker territory. I guess, yeah. But anyways, I'm really enjoying it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limb. Ah! Well, uh, that's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? You're giving it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Gritty? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... It's the kind of that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil... <gasps> but because the world is full <laughs> of horrible people! <laughs> and we're all worthless oh anyway! My God! I book. love my big titty goth girlfriend. <laughs> I, I just did a quick control print. All right, All right. I think we're going to end episode one for yes. the YouTube Woo! folks right Lordy. here. Streaming for our, another hour or so yeah. for those of you on Twitch. We got to refresh our bevos. We got to refresh our bevos. Uh, but thank you so much for watching YouTube people. Um, we're in it now. We're, we are in it. So I'm going to add, uh, uh, follow us on Twitter at yes. Tim Lanning. And follow me on Twitter at Jennifer Cheek. Thanks, bye. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date or head over to geeklyinc.com to see all the content we do. Follow Tim on Twitter at Tim Lanning or follow me on Twitter at Mr. K underscore Bennett.